So here in Lugano at ICML, I presented the study uh, named ASCEND, which is a phase three international multicentric study where uh, patients with relapsed and refractory CLL have been randomized to either a novel BTK inhibitor, a calabrutinib, or a physician choice between uh, either a rituximab plus uh, idelalizib, so a chemo-free treatment, or a rituximab plus bendamastin, so a classic uh, um, immunochemotherapeutic uh, combination. The study showed uh, uh, indeed a higher efficacy for acalabrutinib as monotherapy, um, showing that indeed the, uh, the medium PFS was not reached, while instead for the other two combinations, the um, uh, PFS, the medium PFS was around 16 months, with a follow up of 16 months. Uh, we randomized 310 patients, 115 in each arm, and I have to say that the, co the control arm, so the physician choice, was made mainly of uh, uh, patients who have been treated with Idela plus Rituximab, 119 patients. So really making this study a comparison for the first time between two chemo-free uh, treatments, a calabrutin, a BTK inhibitor, and on the other side, PIT kinase delta inhibition with uh, Idelalysy. As expected, I would say uh, the toxicity profile was much better for uh, a calabrutin for the BTK inhibition with a classic uh, headache in 22% of the patient, which is anyhow transient a couple of weeks and patient then uh, it fades away. Um, all the rest, there was like 5% atrial fibrillation, uh, uh, bleeding uh, minor, which was mainly minor, was uh, present in uh, roughly one quarter uh, of the patient. No uh, intracranial hemorrhage has been uh, reported in the trial. Uh, infections was roughly 50% in, in all arms, but this is uh, likely depending on the population that is, as I said, uh, made of uh, relapsed refractory CLL. For the delalizib arm, instead, the toxicity profile was again, uh, as expected, uh, quite uh, high, um, with uh, at least 50% of the patient uh, stopping the drug. And uh, of this, uh, half of these patients who stopped, discontinued the drug, they had the possibility to, to cross over to calabrutin. The main reason were side effects for discontinuation, in particular the uh, typical uh, diarrhea with uh, uh, colitis. So at the end, uh, this is a study that is showing that acalabrutinib is indeed uh, uh, giving a benefit to the patient. And the benefit is consistent throughout all the genetic groups. So also for patients with the deletion 17P, patients with unmutated immunoglobulin genes. So hopefully this will become another option available for our patients.